technology, I think, is really impressive. Very much this kind of uh, cooperation uh, among universities. And uh, I think that Kabul University and Encina University and our team here at AUAF deserve a great deal of credit uh, for, for carrying this on. Uh, I'm not really here to engage. That's Dr. Ala and others. Uh, others role, but I just wanted to congratulate you for doing this despite all the obstacles that we are facing. It just goes to show that the search for knowledge and the, and the willingness and ability to work together will triumph over uh, many obstacles, including this obstacle we have right in front of us now with the COVID-19. For our colleagues at Kabul University, I wanted to congratulate you. I understand that you have a new president, um, Babari. Uh, who had formerly been the Deputy Minister of Higher Education and also was an adjunct faculty member here at AUAF. He's an old friend of AUAF, and I'm sure that with his leadership, the, the cooperation of AUAF and Kabul University will continue. And of course, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Sina University is a great partner as well. So anyway, I want to thank everybody uh, for that and uh, then turn mm. to Dr. Ala as uh, you move forward in your, um, as you move forward uh, in your cooperation. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. President, and uh, we're ready to have you with us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you to your cooperation. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Okay. So our uh, agenda for today, um, we will start uh, into, uh, the introduction part. So all the participants should uh, start. So. Uh, should we start from uh, uh, Kabul University? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I'll start the Mamad Khan Haidari, uh, who is the Dean of the Faculty of Mathematics at Kabul University. Uh, please go ahead with, uh, and introduce yourself to the, to the members of the members in the meeting. My name is Mamad Khan Haidari. <coughs> Dean of the Mathematics Faculty of Kabul University. Mamad Khan, can you, can you not see your uh, face? Yeah, you. Uh, I have all my videos. Okay, go ahead. It's okay. Yes. Okay, it's okay. No, not not yet. Ah, I... still you didn't see the camera. <laughs> the, I think the camera. I have on my done. video. So, it's. Ah. Uh, I think it have uh, some problem because I have on my uh, it's, okay. it's okay, it's okay, so you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, my name is Mohamed Khan Haidari. Uh, I am uh, Dean of the Mathematics Faculty in Kabul University. And uh, uh, I have studied uh, in Germany, uh, Wurzburg University, uh, Mathematics, uh, and uh, I have studied in the uh, four different diploma uh, program. Uh, there are two different uh, program in Germany. One is the master uh, uh, bachelor master program. Other is four different diploma program. I have studied the four different diploma program uh, with uh, the German students. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. Uh, we are uh, glad to have you with us, uh, uh, Professor Mohammed. Yeah, next. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Allah, next move, uh, we move on to Professor Wahidi. I have started my job here in Kabul University at, uh, since uh, 2000, still now. And I uh, was uh, a teacher, he, he, uh, uh, instructor here for seven years. Well, after that, in uh, 2007, I went to Germany and uh, I was here for uh, four years. Uh, after that, I came back and I was a teacher here uh, since uh, uh, one year ago. After uh, for, uh, last year, uh, I have cho choice. I have choice uh, as the dean of a faculty. Thank you very much, Mr. Salam um, and thank you for, uh, for inviting us um, today in this important meeting. 
we hope that uh, this will be an opening for long term and mutual contribution between two initiatives and for stable collaboration as well. Thank you, Dr. Abdelaziz Abdul Hakim, Chair of STM Division and Acting Vice President in Academic Affairs for allocating your precious time. And thank you, Dr. Jawid, uh, for paving the way uh, to this aim. Uh, my name is Abdul Razak Wahidi. Uh, I finished my master's degree about uh, 20 years ago from Islam University in Iran with high rank in several math competition and Olympiads. Especially one of them was in Ahwas in March, I think, 1998. And uh, one of my rivals was Maryam Mirzakhani. Uh, she's a very, very famous mathematician. Uh, and you, know, you may know that the bus was involved in accident wherein it fell off uh, Clive after return from Ahwaz and Mariam was one of the survivors. Uh, including other achievements, I got medal, um, a bronze medal uh, uh, from uh, an Olympiad and third rank um, during my education. I graduated from Isfahan University as top students, but since at that time, uh, I mean that before 2001, it was not allowed for refugees to continue education for PhD. And my financial supporter as a German fund, it was called DAFI, D-A-F-I, uh, has limited resources. Uh, uh, so I could not attend to, for PhD, but I had some lecturing seats in uh, different universities um, in Iran. Following 9-11, uh, um, I was uh, among the first group of Afghan educated refugees who returned Afghanistan in early 2002. Just after Taliban regime collapsed, I resumed uh, teaching math at Kabul University. But here I faced uh, with other type of discrimination. It was really crazy to be a witness of such unscientific and systematic marginalization for a specific kind of people in Afghanistan. I don't want to go through this uh, and make very clear for everyone. In another case, after two and three years of experience with UNESCO, I invited by government leaders Ashraf Ghani, Ahadi, and Zakhalwal to work with them at the MOF and uh, as also cabinet mem member as a uh, Ministry of uh, Communication and IT. MOF, I mean that Ministry of Finance. I had almost uh, 12 years of experience with the government, Karzai, and uh, um, National Unity Government time. Uh, in high position, like Deputy Minister, as well as uh, Minister. But I have got productive experiences on how apply mathematics way of thinking to face with the real challenges in work, especially in financial uh, administration, economics, and politics, uh, by applying some tools like game theory uh, out of the classrooms. In the other world, there is widespread acceptance that uh, mathematics is important and even vital for individual uh, and for society. Uh, in most countries, uh, the high status of uh, mathematics and mathematics ed education is rarely uh, contested. It is uh, presumed to be vehicle towards social and political progress. But in Afghanistan, math uh, teachers and lecturers always are proud to have 20 years, 30 years, or 40 years of experience. And do what? Just teaching single lecture notes one year experience and repeating that for decades. So we'll go through this in the, <laughs> in, 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 in the uh, uh, following uh, discussion. But thank you for giving me the, this opportunity to talk and uh, I hope that uh, we'll have more uh, opportunity to give more detail about what happening in Afghanistan mathematics society. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Abdurrazek. We are really glad to have you here with us. And this is really impressive uh, uh, experience and background. 
thank you. Yeah, next, Asad, who's thank next? You. Uh, next, Asad, uh, Azrila Fahinda. Yes. Thank you. Let me begin by expressing my profound gratitude to all participants, and especially from Dr. Jawi, organizer of the meeting. I'm Azizullah Poyenda, lecturer of mathematics at Kabul University, Faculty of Mathematics, Department of Mathematical Analysis. I received my MSc degree from the University College of Science, Osmania University, Hyderabad in India in 2011, I interest in a complex analysis. I have eight years of work experience with university like Arakuzio, Bost, Rana, Gawarshot, Ibn Sino, Khatib, and Kabul University. I'm teaching discrete mathematics and probability in this semester. Thank you. Thank you. We are glad to have you with us today. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ustad uh, Painda. Next, we move on to Ustad uh, Mahdi Sultani. Ustad Sultani. Uh, okay. It seems that Ustad Sultani uh, could not hear us. Uh, let's, uh, then let's move on to Ustad Zainab Yazdani. Ustad? Ustad Zainab? Uh, yes. Yes. Hello, everyone. Thanks from uh, American University in Afghanistan for conducting that this uh, uh, important meeting. And uh, thanks, everyone. And I'm Zainab Yazdani. Uh, I'm lecturer in the uh, Faculty, Faculty of Computer Science in uh, Ibn Sina University. And uh, I, I have completed my master degree in the Department of Mathematics in Sevet by Fule Pune University in India in 2019. And uh, completed my bachelor degree in the Department of Mathematics of uh, Kabul University in 2016 and before that i was teaching in i was teaching math in private school in Helmand province thank you thank, thank you very much ustad uh, sultani you are here ustad sultani uh, it seems that he is disconnected uh, and Mr. Jubran is not here. Uh, he couldn't join for any reason. I think we are done with our guests in Kabul University, Dr. Ala. Okay, so uh, let me introduce uh, myself to you. This is me, uh, Dr. Ala Abdul Hakim uh, Abdul Aziz. I, am, uh, came, I came from Yemen. Um, I uh, did my bachelor degree in Malaysia, uh, measuring in uh, 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 computer science information security. And then uh, I continue my master uh, uh, in, in Malaysia too, in University of Technology in Malaysia, uh, uh, in the same field, information security. And then my PhD was in the same field uh, in Malaysia too, in, in cyber security. So uh, uh, I have been living there for almost 12, uh, 12 years. And then uh, uh, I was also teaching there at the university, uh, uh, undergraduate level. Uh, and then, um, I came here at the UEF in 2016, uh, August, and then uh, I start my career by uh, 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 as an assistant uh, uh, professor at the uh, IT department. Um, and then uh, now uh, I'm still here and, uh, and I'm the chair of uh, the STEM division and I'm happy to be with you. Thank you, Dr. Ala. Uh, Dr. Moore? Uh, you have to switch. Yes. Very good. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Dr. Javid, and thank you, Dr. Allah, for organizing this meeting. And thank you, everyone else, for giving us your time today. Mm -hmm. My name is Dr. Mar. I am distinguished professor of uh, physics and astronomy at the American University of Afghanistan, and I am also the director of scientific outreach. My background is in experimental particle physics. 
I did both my internships, my master and my PhD and my postdoc at the European Laboratory for Particle Physics in Geneva. And uh, even my postdoc was working developing electronics for one of the experiments of the Large Hadron Collider that maybe you've heard of because in 2012, the Higgs boson was uh, discovered at this experiment. So I've also worked in investment banking for almost 10 years using my mathematics background. And now I've been 15 years teaching. Um, I love physics, I love mathematics, I love astronomy, I love foundations of scientific research, and I've been very happy to be now for two years at the American University of Afghanistan. So whatever we can collaborate with, it will be amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mar. Thank you, Dr. Mar. Uh, Dr. Rosa? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Rosa Pavlova from Bulgaria. Uh, my qualifications are uh, from one uh, famous Bulgarian technical university. I have Master of Science in Engineering, and later I continued for my PhD in uh, Engineering Mathematics. And um, uh, my PhD thesis is in the field of optimization. Uh, and uh, after then, for 19 years, I was working as assistant professor of uh, Engineering Mathematics at the same technical university in, in Sofia. And uh, 20 years uh, already, I'm working abroad. Uh, seven years, I was working in South Africa. And after then, I moved to New Zealand. I was for three years in New Zealand. And uh, I spent also 12 years in the Middle East. I was working uh, in Oman, in Saudi Arabia, and in the United Arab Emirates. And uh, the last two years, I'm working as a associate professor of mathematics in the American University of Afghanistan. I'm teaching um, calculus uh, and also statistics, introductory mathematics to uh, college algebra. Uh, I, actually, I'm prepared to teach all mathematical courses in the department, but uh, these are my current courses that I'm teaching this semester. Um, my uh, scientific research was in the field of uh, optimization under uncertainties, and um, uh, people uh, are familiar with um, fuzzy sets and uh, in uh, environmental protection and sustainable development applications of mathematics to this um, area of the human life. Mm. So I'm very glad to have uh, collaboration with uh, your department and I'm interested to know what are your topics of scientific research and how many people are working at your department as well as I want to know uh, about your students, uh, about uh, their uh, mat uh, proficiency in mathematics and also English proficiency. We can uh, contact uh, and uh, we, we can have contact and we can have collaboration in many fields of uh, our profession. Um, so uh, once again, I thank you very much to Dr. Asad for, uh, for uh, inviting us for this uh, interesting meeting. And I think it will be very fruitful and it will give some positive results for both departments in our university and the Kabul University as well. Thank you, Dr. Asad, and thank you everybody for attending this meeting and participating. Thank you, Dr. Rosa. Thank you very much. Uh, next, uh, I think, uh, Aisha. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Aisha Yusuf Rawan. I am IT instructor in AUF STEM division. I have done my bachelor in computer sciences and with uh, another bachelor in education. Then I did my master's um, in computer science, sciences. I have done both of my degrees in, from Pakistan. Um, I joined AUF last year in, in the month of August. So I'm very glad to have you all with us. And I really want to thank you, Ala and Asad to, for organizing this collaboration meeting. So I'm here from IT to support mathematics in the division. So thank you all uh, to be here with us. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, move on to Ustad uh, Hamras. Ustad Hamras, do you hear us? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dries Hamras. 
I'm uh, working in EF since 2015, so as an adjunct and also associate registrar. So I have a bachelor and master degree in, in computer science, information technology, and uh, especially in cloud computing security and privacy. So very glad to be part of this team that's uh, overall maybe mathematics, but still we are in a part of the IT. So we are glad to hear and thanks everyone for organizing like these meetings. Thank you, Ustad Amraz. Uh, Ustad Qasumi, uh, do you hear us? Ustad Qasumi, or he left? Or I think, well, uh, I think Ustad Qasumi has left our, one of our agent instructor in mathematics coming from Khatib University. Uh, he used to teach us here for a couple of semesters, uh, basic mathematics courses. But uh, unfortunately, because of the internet connections, I think he has left. Well, uh, thanks everybody, Dr. Allah. Let's move on to the to the next uh, to the next point. What about you? We need you to introduce Well, uh, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Asadullah Jawid. I have done my bachelor's degree in the Department of Mathematics. Uh, uh, at that time, this was Department of Mathematics, but recently, uh, it has been uh, promoted to the Faculty of Mathematics uh, from uh, the from the professors who are here. Uh, I, I have, the, I have uh, been honored to be the, the student of uh, Professor Wahidi and Ustad uh, Muhammad Khan Haidari. Both of them uh, taught me many semesters, linear algebra, functional analysis, and things like that. Uh, then I went to Germany and I did my master's degree in applied mathematics in the University of Bonn. And, uh, and after coming back in 2011, uh, I have been teaching in some private universities, including American University of Afghanistan. And, at the same time, I was working in the DAD, German Academic Exchange Services, as the scholarship manager. And in 2015, I came to Germany for doing my PhD, and I have done my PhD in quantitative economics uh, with, uh, with the research interest in climate change impacts and uh, adaptation. Uh, and since uh, January 2019, I have been working in the STM Division, American University of Afghanistan, as the assistant professor of mathematics. I'm really glad to all of you uh, for accepting the invitation and coming to this meeting today. I hope this is the start of a long-term cooperation as uh, Professor Wahidi and Dr. Ella mentioned, uh, that uh, we, we have, a, I think we have a lot of options to work together, uh, not only uh, an online platform, but also teaching, also research, a lot of other options that we can work together. And I hope this is the opening of a long-term cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. So next in our agenda, we have uh, exp uh, experience in teaching mathematics online. Yeah. So yeah, I would like to hear all the audience, uh, what is their thoughts about teaching mathematics online? What's the benefits? What's the challenges that you think people will face? And um, uh, what will be the best tools you think? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I would like to hear uh, these thoughts from you. Uh, Dr. Allah, if you agree, let me let's start with uh, calling the names because everybody would be hesitating to start. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, let me start with uh, Ustad Wahidi as he is the pioneer, uh, pioneer of, of uh, yeah. producing digital lessons and online teaching, and he has got a lot of experience. But I think he started this uh, idea of online and uh, online teaching somehow digital lessons many years before then anybody else was even thinking that such a thing is possible. Uh, that's why I think it's a good way to start from uh, Ustad and uh, hear from him uh, what, uh, what is his experiences, what is uh, his recommendation in, in, in terms of online teaching. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Jawit, uh, for giving uh, uh, this opportunity for me the first. <laughs> Um, I'm just a um, student uh, for all my life. I'm learning every day. Um, as I said, that uh, I know many, many lecturers at uh, university, at Kabul University. Uh, most of them are proud that they, are, um, they have decades of experience, but uh, many, many of them uh, have just one year experience and repeating decades. It's not uh, makes sense. Uh, but uh, when I talk with them, I say to them, uh, they need to know more than a single lecture note or even a textbook. There are, uh, especially in mathematics, there are mathematical wonders beyond 
the curriculum that can make uh, the subject come alive. Uh, mathematics is uh, the only subject where people admit their weakness. It seems as a tough, um, it is badge of honor um, to admit that uh, they are lousy in mathematics. No other subjects would any ever uh, do the same for. Why is that the case? Uh, one of the reasons is that we don't do enough mathematics, an exciting and interesting subject, especially at the primary and secondary school levels, um, even in university, where teachers themselves are often those adults um, who don't like mathematics. If you don't like it, you do a minimal amount and uh, you don't do, do it in a kind of enthusiasm. Uh, that would otherwise, uh, when you teach a subject that you very much like. Uh, there are a, lots of things can do in mathematics to enrich uh, the instruction to make it come alive and give uh, some sense to it. Um, there are lots of numerical simple things. Uh, uh, when I prepare the videos, uh, the, the uh, online course videos for uh, for school, uh, I uh, encourage teachers to allow themselves become enriched in some of the things beyond the curriculum they can do it. For example, why teachers at the elementary schools can't use uh, Capricorn numbers. That is very, very exciting and uh, in, uh, interesting phenomenon and people are amazed by the fact that happen when uh, teachers become aware of uh, such things, uh, it makes a subject come alive. It, uh, uh, it also gives uh, kinds of uh, fun for kids uh, and for, for students, uh, for fun practice and doing subtraction, uh, say that uh, the lower grade level. Despite math more widely used, uh, more important and in sense more popular uh, than ever uh, before in the human uh, history, but uh, uh, we got math in education, especially in Afghanistan, is more uh, despised, uh, less creative and sort of disliked by everyone involved. Not only teachers and students, uh, feared by, but the government, uh, as, I, as I have experience with the government, don't know how math uh, can screw up our economic, um, social challenges and other challenges as well. We don't have basic information about population, for instance, or geographical distribution. Uh, and by lack of these very crucial tools, government conducted many significant activities with shameful outcomes such as the election that you were witness and now this COVID-19 disaster. In uh, one of the cabinet uh, meeting, I talked to Ashraf Ghani that our student must be equipped by two languages as tools. English, since uh, most of resources are available in English. And the second, mathematics, because uh, it is the language of technology and science. Math in the last decades in the outside world is fundamentally changed as subject. And the reasons, uh, the, and the reason it's a change, it's cows, it is based on computer. In education, we haven't done that. And that is a fundamental chasm opened up between outside world and education in math. Let me take that a uh, little bit further. I have always started uh, the sessions of my class by asking my students this question, why we learn math? Most of them gives different answers and it is uh, easy to understand that in particular, most of them in education system pretty forced to learn math, uh, but, uh, but without to know the importance of this mainstream center subject. My answer to the question is mostly about three reasons there uh, that could uh, argue for, uh, for that particular mainstream subject. 
The reason one is all technical jobs uh, that drives our economy. Uh, and in the new world that, you know, uh, uh, AI is developed and involved in the uh, daily life. It's crucial uh, for daily life and economic development. Number two is our world has become a quantitative place in the last decades. It is kind of hard just to survive in a modern society if you are not pretty good as sort of being quantitative or mathematical. The third reason which is uh, crucial uh, is what logical thinking. Math has been a sort of critical way over hundreds of years in which people have uh, instructed tabs in a logical way. And again, that is critical reason why it, uh, it's important for everyone. These days, uh, COVID-19 was like uh, any other challenges in my life. Um, I consider this as an opportunity to do an in-depth analysis of my experiences uh, as math lecturer in the classroom and government employee for the last two decades. My fundamental question uh, of myself was, when we say we are doing math for lecturing math, what we actually doing? I think uh, there is about four steps to this. The first one, which is completely a screw up, uh, most of the time, it is asking right question. What is it? What is the problem we actually trying to solve? Have we distilled down the question uh, we really want to ask there? Secondly, let's uh, take that really uh, um, um, to the uh, to the real world or theoretical world uh, uh, the picture that and turn it to mathematical form. What's the equation? What's the expression that represent that? Uh, in the way that we can use the power of mathematics to transform to the answer. The step three is indeed that transformation, which we call a computation. And step four is kind of uh, other way uh, take uh, the computer result and um, turn it back into the answer in the real world. And there is a crucial step for B, for, for the level two, which is very fine, checking. Huh? Did we get the right answer? It, is, it makes sense or not? So I guess um, what we are doing today in our classroom, we are spending about 99% of the time on a step three by hand, yeah. One step computer can do vastly better than uh, any human, even after years of training. And instead of making students in the third that we can shoot uh, between is using computer for step three almost in, uh, exclusively there. Hand calculating is still important. I don't mean that we have to uh, omit it, but to to key mental arithmetic, estimating, estimating, and things like that. But for the most part of uh, this uh, argument, we should assume computers as default for uh, calculating, and we should focus the students on those uh, other three steps that uh, are entirely ignored in school education. In critical point, to understand math is not equal to calculating. It is much bigger subject. Why? Why is uh, this uh, got confused? Well, actually, it is not that surprising because most of the people describe math, it is calculating. You have to do it by hand. And uh, we have to concentrate on, on must uh, other uh, three steps. I, I have some idea about computer-based uh, math and right now I finish my talk uh, here and maybe in the next uh, session that you give me, I will uh, uh, come back again.
Thank you. Uh, so, so before you finish, I just wanted to have a couple of information. Uh, do you teach uh, in the semester? Uh, yes, actually, I'm teaching two subjects. One is numerical analysis, and the other is analysis four. That is most um, numerical analysis is very good because I'm teaching algorithm to students and give them the idea how computers think and how machine think, how human think, how you can uh, translate between machine language and human language okay, and give so them the idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Real ana it's, uh, analysis for, is it a real analysis or complex uh, analysis? Sorry, numerical analysis and uh, the real analysis, yes. Real analysis for, okay. So which, which platform you're using? Of course, we know that this semester is online. So do you deliver live lectures or you just uh, no, record the online. Online. Uh, I will I will share uh, the videos that I prepared. Most of them I prepared it in animation, by animation, by uh, computer tools. I made animation uh, for students uh, for half an hour lecture. I prepared that lecture. Uh, I work on that about 15 hours to prepare that lecture and um, um, to give them the idea how transform, you know, uh, how to transfer uh, the, 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 the knowledge or the, the idea to the students. And uh, I have a good news for students that uh, they told me they are, um, better understand uh, of these videos rather than uh, to my classrooms. And okay. I think it is, it is new experience for me and for students too. Well, this is, this is the next point we will talk in the next part of the, sure. of the discussion today, but thank sure. you, Sadwaidi. Uh, uh, let's move on uh, uh, for, uh, to start the Mohammed Fan Aydari, uh, the Dean of the Mathematics Faculty, and uh, hear from him uh, the experiences that he is having with the teaching mathematical subjects online. Bismillah uh, I would like to talk about uh, my experience, not in Germany, uh, because it uh, will take more time. Uh, I'm teaching uh, linear algebra and calculus, also in the private university, uh, uh, probability. Uh, in this time, before uh, of this time, uh, in uh, uh, the, the normal time. I studied uh, mathematics, different uh, subjects, uh, but uh, the uh, environment uh, of the university are uh, very different. Uh, for example, in the private university, uh, I cannot uh, teach things very uh, uh, deeply or very in uh, uh, pointly uh, to because most of the students they don't have uh, 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 ability uh, they have ability but uh, they think they don't have ability they have ability but they, they are not interesting to deeply uh, study of the mathematics and they, they have to the teacher how to um, teach some uh, examples and uh, some simple simple things and don't uh, uh, ex, uh, express very uh, more pointly. Uh, in the, um, the uh, government university, uh, there are uh, some people the how to learn. That was in normal situation. But in this situation, uh, or also uh, the environment is very different. Because if I compare uh, mathematics uh, uh, students in Faculty of Mathematics in Kabul University and uh, also the uh, American University. American University students uh, may have good facilities uh, uh, for intern about internet and also about uh, other, other facilities. But uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, problems in the uh, uh, student of Kabul University because uh, most of them are from the provinces and suburbs. 
they, they, most of them, uh, they have no internet and also uh, they have very uh, problems in this system. Uh, I, I am uh, teaching in this uh, semester linear algebra and calculus. I'm uh, using uh, the screen recorder and uh, I record uh, some video to, and send to them and uh, I give uh, homeworks and uh, I give uh, them some problems to solve them and they uh, participate. But uh, most of them uh, which they are living in support and the provinces, they cannot uh, do, uh, uh, they cannot uh, do um, uh, homeworks and uh, they cannot do uh, Ex problems to solve uh, problems, they have problems. But uh, the student at uh, the, uh, the private university, uh, most of them are living in Kabul. They do their uh, homeworks, and this is uh, one big difference uh, between the uh, private university and also the Kabul university. Although the uh, mathematics is in normal time, it's also. Uh, uh, dip, uh, difficult subject. Uh, I have seen many people in Germany also they, uh, they tell me uh, mathematics is a very uh, difficult subject and a lot of people don't like to learn yeah, and study in this field. Uh, the most of the people they, uh, tell me uh, I will study the, the field that is no mathematics. Uh, mathematics is a, a difficult uh, subject and it's uh, very good to, uh, to uh, share um, uh, their idea between um, students and teacher. If it's uh, not feasible, this is very difficult to know. Um, but uh, some of the students, they have a good, uh, good uh, um, they are good in mathematics and they have uh, studied, uh, 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 studied uh, uh, pointly, they know everything. But uh, some of the students, there are a lot of students, they, they only want to uh, finish university and uh, do some, some work, some career. Uh, and uh, this, uh, most of the students are the different uh, interesting, some of them are interesting, some of uh, they have no interesting or less interesting. Uh, uh, this is a very big uh, problem in uh, this uh, uh, in this semester. I'm using uh, Helimis, Helimis uh, system and also the Google Classroom, uh, Google Classroom. And the first uh, I have used Google Classroom uh, mm -hmm. for, for to teach uh, students uh, online. Uh, but uh, after some time, uh, the Ministry of Higher Education um, uh, uh, provide the facilities to, and they have management system. And they uh, know in this time, they tell to the uh, teachers and also to the university to use this system because it's uh, have ability to store uh, the, the store and also it's it can use for the next time and also uh, students uh, every every time students can uh, uh, receive this uh, data mm -hmm. and uh, also they uh, can manage this system and the uh, google classroom cannot manage this system mm -hmm. uh, this time i uh, am using helms system that, which is uh, provided by Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, I think uh, it how in generally it it is uh, student have problems and also teacher have problems because mm -hmm. the, the online the uh, online teach uh, teaching is uh, uh, a new uh, in Afghanistan and new things in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Be before that, uh, teacher and the students were in contact to each other and the can uh, uh, express uh, their uh, problems and uh, uh, teachers and uh, lecturers the uh, how uh, the the give how the give time to the student to solve their problem with uh, with him and the, in this time 
if you derive uh, to me a, a, a problem, I don't know this problem. When I solve the problem, this problem is uh, uh, also uh, the things that I, the, I don't know exactly what the student uh, have pro mm -hmm. program. I, uh, he cannot uh, uh, express his problem to me. And also uh, when I am, uh, I am answering him, I think this is enough answer for him. But uh, uh, maybe for the student, the, the exactly uh, question is not solved. Uh, this is uh, one a big problem, but uh, we have to find, we, uh, have, we have to find and we have to search way to teach uh, online because it's, uh, uh, if it's a uh, continue, the situation is continue. We have to find something, to, it's some, some way to solve the problems. This, um, this kind of meetings are very good because I can use uh, your experience and also I learn many things from uh, the other teachers and also from the other um, managers. The manager thinks uh, for the students uh, and also uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, thank you very much for, from you that you manage this, uh, for this meeting. And uh, I'm happy to uh, how uh, partic to participate in these meetings in also in the next. Uh, this is my experience in this semester. Thank you. Thank you, Ustad. Uh, thank you, Ustad Haidari. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, now let's uh, move on to Ustad Painda. Yes, uh, as I have already mentioned, uh, I am teaching uh, discrete mathematics and probability in this semester. Mm -hmm. I use the software of uh, Fast Stone Capture. This is one of the software and uh, screen recorder and also light pen for online teaching. The light pen is better than Fast Stone Capture and screen recorder. In the beginning, I often uh, use the Fast Stone Capture, but now I prefer the uh, light pen mm -hmm. because by using the light pen, we are able to write whatever we want to say. In the, in the field of teaching of um, mathematics, using such an, an instrument is very useful. On a student uh, feedback, I can say that without, uh, uh, sorry, I can say that uh, writing method is uh, more effective in teaching of mathematics. Online learning is uh, like distance education. People around the world uh, are familiar with distance education, but in Afghanistan, the uh, conditions of uh, online teaching or online learning or distance is totally different. For better explanation, divide all the world uh, into two parts, Afghanistan and the rest of the world, because here we have um, so many problems rather than how to satisfy students like uh, weak internet, lack of power or electricity and uh, resources. Also in uh, Kabul city, majority of our students uh, come from outside of the Kabul city. In this situation, those students uh, who are in their own provinces, some of them have no access to electricity. Another problem is a student math knowledge. I am teaching the same subjects in both Kabul University and Khatib University, but the feedback is completely different. The students of uh, Kabul University are, are really satisfied and enjoy online learning. However, it is not true for Khatib University. They have many problems in uh, understanding. According to my experience, they have not studied basic mathematics well. In online uh, studying, it creates so many problems. Another problem is a student background. E-learning is very difficult for those who come with weak background from the school. As I have already mentioned, I am teaching the same subjects at Kabul, um, Kabul University and as well as Khatib University, which is a private 
and um, prestigious university mm -hmm. in Afghanistan and got feedback. The result or have a big difference. A student of Kabul University mentioned that, thank you, sir. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Uh, you are working very hard and your explanation is very good and so on. But some of the students at the Khatib uh, University mentioned that, oh, sir, what is it? Uh, we don't know. I don't know how to pass the subject. It is very tough. It is very difficult. Uh, I don't know what should I do and so on. And one more thing, which is related to homework, all the students of um, Kabul University, without any exception, send their homework on time. But mm. in Khatib University, I have to extend the deadline of homework for so many times. This is the mm, uh, big difference between uh, private university and uh, government university like Kabul University. This was my experience. As we are aware, our students uh, are unaccustomed with e learning. That is why, in the beginning, they have uh, shown a pause and even they wanted to avoid the online learning or online system. So, ignoring all the above conditions, and now if we discuss about online teaching or uh, online learning, situation of the world requires to adjust with online learning. Today, uh, the situation of the world requires us to adjust with online learning, and the students have to adjust with uh, online learning also. But we have to consider the differences between uh, the subjects of science college and also art college. There are um, some difference between the subject of uh, science college and also art college. Uh, in the subject of art college, uh, like uh, sociology, like um, history and something like that, the, this subject has no formula, no equation. Uh, we have no problem with this subject. But in science college, we have formula, we have theorem, we have so many remarks, and uh, we have to explain face to face our traditional system. Uh, but in this situation, traditional system or traditional uh, classes are uh, impossible. But we have to we have to adjust with the online system. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sir Paina. Thank you so much for your uh, for your feedback and sharing your experience. Uh, I think the last guest is uh, Ustaz Zainab. Uh, have you started teaching uh, online in Ibn Sina University? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Javid. Uh, I'm teaching uh, calculus subject in uh, Ibn Sina University in Faculty of uh, Computer Science. As we know, online teaching and online learning is uh, a new experience for Afghanistan. And it is the only alternative for traditional classes in this pandemic situation. Uh, in the beginning, it was little unusual for both teachers and the students to teach and learn uh, online in any field. But uh, we know it is more difficult in mathematics. mathematics. Um, however, uh, using different softwares uh, may help uh, to solve these difficulties. It uh, make uh, a little uh, easier. And uh, I'm using the Dsoft screen recorder. Of course, I use uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint to create outlines of my lectures. Uh, and then I upload this uh, on university uh, site, Evinson has university sites, and also we are using uh, helmet sites. Um, but uh, some students don't access to helmet site because they are saying we cannot uh, use this because of internet problem. And uh, while recording the um, lectures, uh, I'm using writing tools and as I said, I'm teaching calculus, then uh, is sketching the graphs or uh, uh, and explaining more. And in this way, it solves the problems in, to an extent. 
anyway, it, uh, it was so difficult in the first years for the students, but uh, now it is getting better. And besides this, we have uh, some telegram groups that the students are able to ask them and I can answer them. Uh, and uh, about homeworks, they, because of the internet problem, I suggested that uh, if they couldn't upload the problem, the homeworks and uh, on sites and exercises, they can send it directly to me uh, mm -hmm. via using different um, social media. And uh, I think for uh, uh, online teaching, we need to um, prepare more with, uh, than traditional classes because uh, in online teaching, we cannot see the face of a student and we cannot everything or not. And uh, we should prepare well, we should uh, put uh, in order to get, uh, in order to feel how is our uh, method, how uh, our, the students are able to understand or not. And uh, another problem for uh, online teaching is the uh, uh, internet problem in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. As we know that uh, majority or some of the students are from provinces and they don't access to uh, internet or some of them, uh, they have access to internet but they are not happy with the quality of internet. And uh, it's uh, it has really negative effect on uh, uh, teaching online. <laughs> and uh, uh, because of this problem, many students couldn't register in this semester. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sazaina. Thank you, uh, Sazaina. You you are using the same uh, the same HLMS, uh, Higher Education Learning Management System from Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, yes, uh, we are, I told that we are using both helmets and Avisam uh, uh, .com. It is a site for, uh, especially for uh, uh, FCNA University, but uh, uh, besides this, we are using helmets. Uh, I mean that uh, I upload videos for both sites. Okay. Because some students don't access to helmets. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They are saying that it is difficult uh, because of these problems we are using their mercies its own side of Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Sir Zainab. Uh, Dr. Ala, we are done with uh, our guests from Kabul University and uh, Ibn Sina University. From our side, I think uh, you share your own experience because you have been leading this uh, process in the university. I think it's, uh, it's the best you share your experience of online teaching and the facilities that we have in the American University with our uh, with our guests. Yeah, sure. Uh, I would like to talk about it at the end. Maybe the math people can start, then I can wrap up at the end. Okay, then uh, we move on. We give uh, the floor to Dr. Mark uh, uh, to, to share her experience on uh, online teaching. Okay. Um, it has been really very, very interesting to listen to all of you because, you know, it is, I really agree with so many of the things you said. The fact that really mathematics is a subject that is more difficult to master. And yet, whether it was in a school or high school, time wasn't given to them. So, and even the teachers, maybe they didn't have the background. And I'm telling you, this is not just in Afghanistan. This is all over the world. It is quite difficult to find passionate teachers who actually are given the ability to transfer this knowledge. So what do we find today when these students reach university? We find the students that don't have the required knowledge, um, and we need to face that. We also, you know, students have never been told why they have to study maths. 
how many students in high school were given a life example of the subject? I, I bet none. So when they come to us, really, we have such, such a big job to do, okay? Now, about the student attitude, um, and you were saying you notice a big difference between uh, Kabul University and private universities. Actually, I would share with you, even at AUAF, we have amazing students, and I can have two sections. In one of them, all the students, they really want to learn, they take the challenge when I ask concept questions. And in another section, they all just want to complain and say, uh, you don't know how to teach and we don't want to learn, basically. So I would like to support you in the point that these students are everywhere, right? So what can we do at this point? Uh, last semester, I was teaching uh, calculus, three sections, and I've always used the slides, I've always used animations. I've been using online platforms for more than 10 years. Uh, already in 2011, I had my own websites that the students used uh, for their learning. Um, it is very, very important that we have a learning management systems or even a website where the students can access the information. Now, there is a big switch with online teaching. On face-to-face teaching, the teachers are expected to do most of the work, to give the student everything. But what happens when you switch to online? Imagine now you only have 30 minutes, when before you had an hour and a half to teach. So now the focus has been changed towards the student. And the students has to take responsibility for their learning, really. And, and this is very, very uh, challenging. Some students will go and try their best. Some others will turn against the system because they do not want to do the extra work. So I, had, I ran one exam this semester, which was a concept-based exam rather than a mechanical. It was very interesting. Mr. Bahidi was saying, we have spent most of the time in the class just solving mechanical questions. When any computer could do that for us. Photomath, you just put your question in Photomath, the answer is there. So what is the point to teach our students to use Photomath, honestly? So I, I said this a concept uh, exam, which was very simple. One of the questions was I have an empty bottle, okay? And I opened it up. And using a constant rate, the tap would be filling the bottle. The bottle had a shape. And the question to the students was, can you draw for me the graph of how the water, the height of the water is changing with time in the bottle? Can you believe that 30% of the students couldn't even tell me it was an increasing function? From zero water in the bottle to the end, what was the height of the water doing? Racing. 30% of the students wouldn't even tell me. And I think that was because of their attitudes. They were very negative. They didn't really want to learn. They didn't want to find the application of mathematics to daily life. So I don't want to take all the time from everyone. For me, we have a very challenging task. It is very good to have learning management system. It is very good to keep the face-to-face -face classes. And um, I think we should start every single class of every single semester with a daily life example. That uh, would be related to the particular tool we are explaining to the students because it is very different actually to teach a student who is doing math major or physics major to teaching a student who is studying business and we need when many of you are saying oh private universities i am really assuming you are teaching students who are not studying mathematics as a major so the student already 
it's kind of against. The, 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 why should I study math if I'm studying interior design, right? So we need to cover all the work that was not done for us before to show the student why math and why it is interesting. And then it's up to them if they want to improve their knowledge or not. Mm -hmm. So starting every class, maybe with a video before the class about a particular subject, and then in the class we can teach the tool. Now, I think my experience, and I really agree with Mr. Vahidi completely, maybe we need to rethink how we are teaching mathematics. Why to teach students how to solve integrals of all type when photomath can solve them for you? Perhaps we should develop more the critical thinking. Right? In what kind of situations would you use this tool? And really, for me, for the future, whenever I teach math again, I will want to teach more on the concept side rather than the uh, mechanical side. But I think this requires change from the whole curriculum because we will be teaching different things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you all for being there. And, uh, thank, you, Dr. Mar thank you, Dr. Mar. Thank you very much for, for sharing your experience. Of course, we are coming back to at some points you and Mr. the rest of the, the professors raised regarding how we teach mathematics, why the people don't like mathematics, pair of mathematics, and the list is very long. So I hope we can discuss it in the next point, but now let's give the floor to Dr. Rosa uh, uh, and uh, hear her experience of teaching online uh, in this semester. So Dr. Rosa. Uh, thank you for giving me opportunity to share my experience about the online teaching at our university. Uh, our university is a very progressive and very advanced university and that's why the online teaching process was perfectly organized by the, the vice president in academic affairs, Dr. Victoria, and uh, Dr. Allah, who has a huge contribution in the organizing of uh, the online teaching. Uh, we were given uh, excellent instructions by Dr. Allah how to uh, proceed in the uh, preparations of our classes, how to conduct our online classes, etc. So in this way, uh, our university has a huge advance uh, compared to other universities. As I understand, uh, in Afghanistan, we are number one in online teaching, and I'm proud of this, that we were successful in delivering of uh, online classes uh, this semester in a very good way. We finished the spring semester, and we even have summer semester at the moment. And we are still uh, continuing with the uh, online teaching and we will continue in the summer semester too and also in the fall semester with this online teaching. Now, at the beginning of the online teaching that I have, uh, some students had uh, problems. They were looking for excuses uh, for, uh, for coming late to class or for, uh, uh, for uh, slow work in class or for... Uh, uh, late submission of exams or assignments, they were finding excuses with uh, low, slow internet connection, uh, slow internet, I mean bad internet connection, etc. But with the time they understood that they cannot continue with these excuses and uh, they started uh, being uh, uh, all right. So now at the moment I don't have so many complaints about uh, slow internet or something else. And every day my students are coming in class I'm teaching Calculus 1 this semester online, and uh, every day I'm checking the attendance, and all students uh, are uh, in class, and they participate very actively in, in the class. They work very hard in class, and I'm really happy with their work, and I appreciate all their efforts, which is going to uh, uh, give them also good mark for participation at the end of the semester. Uh, another challenging thing is uh, the opportunities that the online teaching is giving for cheating during the exam. And uh, this is one of the most important things uh, that uh, we have to uh, resolve this problem. Dr. Alla gave us uh, some ideas about uh, methods for um, uh, trying to reduce these uh, chances for, for cheating, uh, but there are still some uh, possibilities for the students to do this. 
and this is the only disadvantage that I can see in the online teaching. Otherwise, uh, if the students are attending regularly, if the teacher is very well prepared, if you have uh, all the slides and uh, uh, explanation, long explanations about everything, actually I'm spending much more efforts uh, for, for uh, not only for preparation, but also during the class uh, compared to face-to-face -face teaching. It's more difficult to teach online and also is for the students it's more difficult for them as well and they are sharing this problem with me and they even wrote some comments in the uh, student evaluations for the spring semester that they prefer to be taught face to face but unfortunately due to the virus problem we have to continue with this challenging thing uh, what i uh, wanted to say as a conclusion that the online teaching has uh, many positive things many advantages but at the same time has also uh, some negative sides like uh, the opportunities for cheating and mm -hmm. it's not uh, very easy for us to resolve this problem uh, in america for example and in the european countries when we have online teaching this is uh, usually given um, to students uh, which belong to section without knowing each other for example online education the students register one is coming from minnesota another one is coming from uh, texas uh, etc. They don't know who are the other students who belong to this section. So they cannot mm -hmm. communicate one with another. And in our situation, it's totally different mm -hmm. because students know each other and they, uh, they are all from here, from Afghanistan. They have their telephone numbers, they have their email addresses, they can communicate. They, uh, during the exam, for example, one student can receive message and uh, um, uh, the solutions of the questions from the exam they attached to this message. So he just copy from the message and he submit like his individual work. And this is uh, something which we cannot avoid, unfortunately, at the moment. And uh, this is one of the challenges that we have to work on for the fall semester if we continue with this uh, in future. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy with the online teaching here. Uh, it's giving more time for the communication between students and, uh, and, um, and teacher. For example, uh, during each weekend, uh, in, on Saturday, for example, I have uh, two hours consultation with my students. And before, when it was face-to-face -face teaching, the students uh, ra rarely were coming to visit me in my office hours in the office. Um, but now they are coming for these conferences that I organize on Saturdays. And they ask questions and they uh, um, I give them explanation about their mistakes in uh, quizzes and in the assignments, so they don't make the same mistakes in the midterm exam, etc. So they are more active, they are looking for the teacher much more time than before uh, when it was face to face and they were going uh, to the classrooms. Um, so in general, um, I'm, I want to say that at our university, we did a great job with uh, online teaching the previous semester and I think this is appreciated not only by our top management of the university, but also by our students. Mm -hmm. They understand that we don't have any break in their study and we give them opportunities to continue with their education and going mm -hmm. for next and next courses. And uh, this is what I can say. Uh, we are uh, trying to improve the online teaching and hopefully we will succeed in, in the fall semester. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rosa, very much. Thank you very much for sharing. Now, we have, uh, we're very pleased to have uh, Dr. Uh, Ustad uh, Samaruddin Jubran with us, just joined from uh, our colleagues from Kabul University. Ustad Jubran, uh, very much welcome. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Jawad. Uh, Samaruddin Jubran, uh, uh, one of the lecturers of Kabul University. Uh, uh, since uh, uh, 2014, I'm working uh, uh, at Kabul University Department of Mathematics. Um, and uh, I have uh, took my master's degree from uh, New Delhi, India, from uh, South Asian University. Mm -hmm. uh, my work was uh, on thesis and uh, optimization, numerical advanced uh, optimization. Mm -hmm. uh, now I joined uh, with your program, but uh, unfortunately in fact, yeah, there's uh, internet uh, connection is uh, very mm -hmm. slow. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I hope uh, so. Uh, now I joined uh, with you. Uh, inshallah, I will uh, share my experience in uh, online 
uh, teaching and also I will hear uh, from your participate uh, in this program. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Samaruddin. Can you already share? Can you already share your uh, experience in online teaching? Which subjects you are teaching this semester uh, online? Now, just uh, I joined the program. Uh, if uh, yes, yes, uh, I can uh, uh, share my own uh, uh, experience in uh, online uh, teaching. Uh, since uh, five and six years. Uh, I'm teaching uh, at the university uh, and uh, some uh, private uh, university in Afghanistan. Uh, but uh, with the, due to the COVID-19, uh, I'm teaching uh, uh, Calculus 2 uh, with my uh, own students uh, in three or four classes. Uh, I have a, a good uh, memory with the students uh, by the teaching of uh, uh, the online uh, teaching. Uh, some uh, good things uh, which I have from uh, my students, uh, which uh, they are getting better uh, than the class, but any online uh, uh, teaching have their own problem uh, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, some uh, things uh, uh, which uh, I pointed with noted with myself is that uh, when I am uh, recording my videos uh, uh, and uh, after the uploading uh, with the groups by Telegram or by the HLMS and other mm -hmm. websites, uh, the students, uh, when they are seeing my videos, uh, they are not shaming and they can see the video for uh, more than one times, uh, two times, three times. Uh, if they are not knowing well, they are once reversing the videos. They are seeing many times uh, without shaming. Uh, they can ask from themselves which uh, uh, part I can know better, which point I cannot better knowing. Uh, and also, uh, they are can, uh, uh, asking uh, and uh, they can seeing uh, uh, the exercise exercise they can uh, work in perfectly and they have uh, some uh, free time they have uh, they can uh, to solve their problem better than in the class uh, i think uh, uh, in in afghanistan uh, many students they can shame in the class they cannot uh, ask yeah. from uh, their teachers well yeah. uh, uh, in it, my opinion is that uh, in the mathematics, uh, the students can better knowing uh, in the video which we are preparing and uploading in their groups. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ustad uh, Jibran, uh, very much for sharing your uh, to, uh, for sharing your experience. We have got uh, kind of diverse experiences from all audience. Now, uh, Dr. Ala, uh, who is uh, who is uh, actually leading the the online uh, uh, learning uh, process in the American University of Afghanistan will share his experience of uh, how he did actually this, this online teaching, not only for his own courses, but also uh, in the university level. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Asa. Thank you all. Um, I just had everyone uh, feedback and I think we are on the same uh, loop on the same issues. So uh, the experience uh, we have uh, for online teaching is, as you know, um, uh, it's really difficult uh, uh, to move from face-to-face -to, -face to online, especially for uh, both, uh, whether it's students or whether it's a faculty who they really don't have any experience of uh, online, online learning management system. So at the beginning, of course, it was really difficult uh, uh, to, uh, train them, to give them a, 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 a special time just to use to the new methods. It takes time, uh, but, then, but then of course uh, 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 it goes fine. After that it goes fine. So what is the main issue we find from the students part is a uh, uh, majority of them, especially the one who's living in the outside couples, uh, they have a problem with the, with the internet connection. It's not really good. Uh, and the other things is, even though the universities try to give them 
package for in their mobile phone, but still the connection is not good. And the other thing is the electricity. The, the electricity is really a problem there. Uh, uh, sometimes they cannot be live in the class. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, they, ca they have really hard time to download the video and watch them. Uh, sometimes in the middle of their assignments, just their, their electricity turn off. So this these challenges we find from the students part uh, 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 from online. Um, here at, uh, at our university, what they did is they created like uh, some guidelines for running the online classes. Uh, uh, these guidelines, for example, is uh, um, each faculty members are required to have a virtual classes uh, like uh, what Mar said is half an hour. That was last semester. Uh, why did we say half an hour? It's the problem is because of the data package. Uh, the university uh, uh, is, is providing data package internet to, to the students. And then uh, if uh, 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 the instructors is goes down more, more than uh, uh, 30 minutes, like one hour, this is where we consume a lot of data package. And, and imagine one students, they have like five courses and they have twice a week classes. So how much bandwidth and data do they need to spend? So that, that's the challenge was it. So that's why it was 30 minutes. But then we substitute instead of virtual classes, uh, means uh, 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 live class, we, we also add uh, additional things, which is uh, discussions, more discussions. So you can have more discussion with the students. You, have, you share with them a, a, a problem, and then you have a, a discussion with your students online. In, in addition to that, we, we also have uh, uh, assignments. We give them more assignments, more exercises, uh, uh, um, more quizzes also you give them. Mm -hmm. And of course, you will share with them external materials. It means sometimes you will, be, you will have pre-recorded lectures. You can do your pre-recorded lectures and then upload them so the students will be able to watch them later on. Uh, uh, of course, in addition to that, we give more office hours. So you will have like, for example, three times a week, one hour uh, meeting live with the students. So this is, this is uh, uh, like we said, uh, I, um, I think everybody will agree on that. Uh, online classes was really uh, uh, difficult for teaching because you need to consume more time and give more time for the students to, to really be, because the students, they were expecting you to answer them immediately. They, they are expecting you. when they send you an email or when they do that discussion, when they have any question. So they expect you from the other part is like, okay, you will answer them. So that's why you need to be available with them most of the time. So that's, that's how uh, uh, I, I found it. But uh, the challenge was also for these online, cl online classes is um, the assessment. The assessment was really challenging because, um, uh, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, it's really difficult to control uh, 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 the cheating cases. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, uh, seriously, I mean, we tried uh, uh, like giving them, uh, as we use a special tool. That special tool will try to, if, you, if they will start the quiz, they will lock down the browser, lock down anything from the BC, they will only allow them to take the quiz. But what happened to that, still some students managed to uh, use their mobile phone during the exam. So, I mean, this challenge is not only at the UEF, this challenge is happening around the world. Uh, taking online assessment is really uh, a challenge, but at STEM division, we did really interesting things last semester to ensure the quality of, of education, uh, which is introducing oral test. The oral test was really a, a good assessment, I think. It was fair, it runs, it runs fine. Uh, I mean, you, uh, what we did is we asked our students to open their camera to us and then to share their screen with us. So in that case, we managed to ask the, the, the students one-to-one -one, uh, a, a question. So really, that's how we really control it. And other things, when we, the designing of the exam itself, when you design the exam itself, I mean, this is really important. Uh, you need to think about the questions, like what Mar says also, I really agree with her, is the students said they hit something called critical thinking questions. Or, uh, I mean, they don't want these things. 
So if you give them scenario and they need to think, analyze it and answer the questions, no. They just want straightforward uh, questions. Uh, I found it um, when we give them like uh, more indirect questions, uh, let them a little bit thinking. Uh, 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 this is really good because they cannot find the answers easy. They need to have, uh, so that was really good designing such questions. Uh, another thing is timing. Timing also is important. So when you set the questions, when you set assessment, you think about the timing. You think about this question, this quiz should take 15 minutes. That's it, give it 15 minutes. Of course, you will have a pushback from students telling you, oh, I don't have internet, I don't have, you will have this pushback. But then setting timing for a question, I think uh, that that was that was good. Uh, overall, what are the issues that I can share it with you is one slow of internet connection. That's really issue. Two is the electricity, uh, the facilities electricity outside. Three um, lack of uh, online classes knowledge for both some for faculty and some for students, especially students the one they really just graduated from high school. So they, they, they don't have really the knowledge of learning using learning management system. So that's, that's especially here we have the academy program. The one who was teaching academy program, they face a lot of challenges, lots of difficulties, just to let the students, you know, engage in their classes. Even the BDI, we have the BDI, uh, they also have a really problem to just let the people use the online learning management system. So there is really some, some lack of knowledge of how are you going to access, uh, download the materials, all these things on online classes. Uh, uh, and then, like we said, I, I would prefer and I will, I will really, because what's happening is students, yes, math is really important. Math is integrated in everything, in all the knowledge. But then, like, like what most of you said, the students, they don't know really what is the application of math? Why do I need to study this formula? Why do I need to study this? They really don't know what is, what is the real application. So, I mean, I mean, that's really an issue. I mean, I mean, there are, I mean if we can, if we can find some, uh, for example, uh, 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 games, some, uh, uh, some interesting things. So the students will see, will, will try to think and then apply the real formula, the real knowledge of math on, on, on the real application so to, to achieve something. So if they can, so this is, this, is, this is somehow we need to think about what real applications we can provide in our classes, what real tools, interesting tools, games, so we make the students are really interested. Uh, um, I agree with you, Mar, when you said students stand against uh, the system because the students require uh, to work more. Again, yes, I agree with you on this point. Uh, online, online classes, they require more efforts for students. Yes, because they need to, to spend more, more, more reading, more practice, and which is, you will find some pushback from students. That's, that's really an issue. Uh, and then the last one, which is the assessment, controlling assessment. And that's overall my experience about online classes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Allah. Thank you for your for your uh, uh, true explanation of uh, what we uh, how we handle actually the online teaching. Uh, and this semester, in fact, this transition uh, to the online teaching in our university was very sharp. It was not a smooth transition, slowly, slowly. But uh, but what the good thing about the university and American university is that our faculties and the students have been using Canvas, which is our online learning management system, before long time before we actually moved completely to online platform. And the problems with other universities in Afghanistan, including Kabul University, was that this experience hasn't been there before. So they had to really move to something completely new and unknown, both to most of the faculties as well as the students. But I think uh, as, we, as the time moves on, we, have, we are collecting experiences, we are collecting feedbacks from both sides of the, of the coin, in order to improve the outcomes. So that's what matters at the end of the day. Now, uh, I think we are done with this part of the, of the, of the meeting, uh, but uh, just to move on the, to the next part, which is I think a quick part on, uh, on uh, solving the problems actually, as we have uh, collected information or experiences from the audience, from the participating members in this meeting, there are also problems, uh, challenges, when it comes to online teaching. But uh, I think this research on uh, online teaching and face-to-face -face teaching uh, should be in the, in the, down there in the student's learning outcome, uh, which one actually results 
in a better learning outcome, or maybe they are not that much different. But that's also a recent question. Well, at the moment, since we are not uh, having access face-to-face uh, -to, -face to the students and to our classes, what I was thinking uh, to do a research, which could be also a joint uh, project of STM and the uh, Kabul University uh, Faculty of Mathematics, is uh, to, to do a, conduct a research on the students' feedback on uh, teaching mathematics and learning mathematics online. So uh, this could be a, a good Actually, piece of the uh, piece of research, especially in this, uh, especially at this time of the, the pandemics, which is very relevant. Uh, and as uh, the universities resume, uh, open their doors, uh, we can have really, really an objective based research in the sense that we could actually. This is being done in other in other countries. What we could do is we could randomly uh, assign a group of students to online. Uh, system as well as uh, the other the rest of the other group uh, to the face to face system teach them the same thing so preferably the same instructor should teach the, 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 the two groups and what we can do at the end to take a test really a test because subject subjective perceptions somehow do not and most of the time do not reflect the reality uh, if that test is really significantly different uh, on the uh, on the side of online learning or face to face, then we can say, okay, which one is better? Or maybe there is no significant difference. That we can do only when the universities uh, resume. But for the time being, I was thinking to seek the opinion of the, of the participating members on running or conducting a research on students' perception of learning and teaching mathematics online. Uh, I, would I would want everybody to, I would like to, I would love to have the feedback from all members and anyone is welcome to, to put the feedback on that. Uh, shall we talk? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, a, it's open discussion. Huh? <laughs> thank yeah, you. it's open discussion, yes. Okay. Um, uh, thank you for everyone uh, to share your uh, productive experience i have learned a lot today uh, from your side and i hope this exchange of experience will continue uh, after the university temporarily closed i started to use technology to assist the process of learning um, but i have uh, started this 15 years ago when uh, I design a platform to give more visual um, a platform to students in math, physics, and chemistry for uh, for higher education for um, uh, secondary education, uh, that was uh, very. Um, uh, the publicity was good at that time, but unfortunately, I left uh, temporary the education area and I went to government for 12 years and three years also I worked with the UNESCO. <coughs> and that way, <coughs> I couldn't continue this platform. Now, <coughs> after university temporary closed, I restart, resume that uh, experience that I had 15 years ago. But how you change in the process of learning by using technology? And there are many, many ways to do that. Uh, you, you know games, as Dr. Allah mentioned, um, or example, uh, for example, uh, the smartphone. Uh, which use mathematical techniques uh, such as linear algebra to maximize the amount of information that can be transmitted across a limited spectrum, uh, or any other CDF, I mean that computable document format. Now uh, we are uh, in a richer way to interface with the material than existed before. Uh, for instance, I have a smartphone here, and uh, by this smartphone, let me unlock it. For instance, I want to give uh, some instruction to my smartphone by Siri. Hi Siri. Okay. Uh, what is? Let me know if I can help. Okay. 
Uh, what is the prime factor of uh, 309,251? Here's some information. Yeah, it is it's very basic uh, for, for the smartphone. Actually, less than a second, give me that uh, this number is prime or give me the, the, the factors. So why you are not? Most of my students, almost 70% or maybe 90% of my students, I don't have an example, a uh, rough uh, estimation, but I um, expected to uh, at least 70% of my students have a smartphone. They have access to smartphone. A smartphone is good because they can save electricity for an hour or uh, they can use it. And also I have students in Daikundi at the moment or in Ur or Nuristan or Badakhshan provinces, but uh, the internet is so weak there rather than Kabul or big city. Um, uh, and they are in, a, in the villages also. Uh, I have some mm, comments from them that they said they just uh, 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 buy, uh, for instance, one, uh, 200 megabytes internet, and they are going to the hill or uh, or mountain and mm -hmm. download download the the the, the, the videos. Mm -hmm. I make these videos and I upload them on on um, on the uh, YouTube channel. Then I make it compress. For instance, a video one hour video is eight hundred MBs, but I can I compress it to fifty MBs or seventy MBs. So. It is easy for students to download it, and then they can repeat and repeat uh, watching this repeatedly. So, uh, but uh, these facilities can help us to give better platform for students. Uh, uh, but there are the many, many main questions uh, are existed. You know, e-learning or distance learning is is good. We can facilitate somehow. Uh, but basically, uh, how mathematics can help students? I give them basically some some example. Design a currency. What kind of coins or notes you need? Uh, making perfect password for for login, for instance especially for students uh, or how does code breaking work how i make it so people don't break it many people these basic questions are very uh, they are not know how to, to manage it and perhaps uh, subjects like this may uh, talk it's beautiful shape does mathematics have anything to say about this? Uh, you know that the golden ratio from Greek time, <laughs> or how much you can compress a photo or video or music. Uh, the things with, uh, with a computer is you can actually just to try to play with the algorithm. That's, I'm transferred this uh, ideas among uh, my lecture, in uh, uh, numerical analysis. These are actually real things, mathematics, that uh, really happen every day for which we need to know what uh, to do. But our curriculum are very divorced from this uh, perfection at the moment. The objection of my students is that computer dumb, mathematics dumb. But how we can tell them it is uh, not actually true? Uh, everyone can give hundreds of examples of abstract subjects like topology or ring or group, group theory uh, in algebra. But um, every, uh, even in a primary courses of, of high school pre-calculus, for instance, if you give uh, to a computer software like uh, uh, MATLAB or 
mathematical uh, to solve the equation x cubed equal to eight. The answer will be vastly complicated, but students give this answer quickly and easy way. Uh, but look at, at the outside world. Do we honestly believe the science, technology, and engineering, all these uh, uh, things uh, that are technical, have conceptually been reduced since computer come along? Uh, uh, conceptually, those things have been vastly empowered. And one of the big reasons for this uh, is uh, because uh, we can do much powerful analysis and modeling and mathematics by computer. And the reason why uh, these subjects have uh, so transformed uh, the world in the last years, uh, it is because the computer do calculate it. That's why I came to the main point that I, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I said before. We should do the same in education, uh, for sure. We can ease, we can uh, facilitate by computer, by um, technology to transfer the knowledge. But we have to think about the curriculum to upgrade our curriculum based on the needs of the real life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ustad Aidi. Ali, uh, so I'm going to uh, thank you, Ustad Aidi, for your uh, nice explanation of uh, the issue. Actually, I just want to repeat again what, uh, what we are going to, what my suggestion was, uh, actually was our suggestion is uh, that uh, if we are interested to do uh, a research on uh, students' perception of uh, teaching and learning mathematics online. Uh, what do you think of this? I mean, what would be your uh, feedback? Are you interested or do you think something else would be more interesting or more immediate to do? Or uh, if you're interested, how kind of contribution you can make? This is actually, if there is anyone else want to want to share their, uh, their uh, ideas or suggestions, uh, that's, uh, that's very much welcome. This, since this is an open discussion, I'm not really calling the names. Uh, sorry, can, can you repeat again? I, I, I missed part of uh, the last uh, uh, sentence because of internet. So can you repeat again uh, the la the, your, your, main, uh, your main question? So the, 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 the idea was that if, uh -huh. since, that we are, since we are living now, we are, trans we are being transformed to the online yes. platform. Yeah. Uh, we want to really quantify and really do mm. a research on a student's perception. This is a subjective study, of course. A student's mm. perception of teaching mm. and learning mathematics online. Mm. So that's, mm. that's my, uh, my suggestion for, for doing a research. We mm. will do a joint project, a joint research project of our STM division in Kabul University. Okay. Of mathematics. And uh, uh, of course, this is just a really raw idea. Uh, uh, if we want to do this research, we really have to go through the literature. We have to really go through other studies being carried out in other uh, countries. And I'm sure there are a lot out there. And uh, if we are interested to do such a thing, which because finally it's the best time to do it now, because we have just moved on to online teaching. And uh, yeah. I think it would be a good research to address this issue now. If uh, that's why if someone uh, anyone interested from uh, from both sides of Kabul University and this team uh, this is really the time to discuss this. I would, and, uh, uh, thank you Azad. I would like to add also um, this is this is what you are listing is one one kind of collaboration that's really a great idea is having joint research between the universities and the the, the main title of research is uh, students' feedback from uh, uh, teaching online mathematics. So that's yeah. yeah, that's 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 really good. Okay. So before we answer this question, I would like also to mention three three main areas we can do the collaboration. So one I one area we already discussed, as Adullah said, the joint research, and mm -hmm. that's we would like to know your uh, your feedback about it. The second is. Um, 
what if, what do you think about this idea too, the second collaboration? What if we can have a workshop and then invite uh, math students from AEF and from Kabul, we make it open online if they were interested. And then what we can cover in that workshop is, because most of the students, they don't understand what is the real application of math. What is the application of math? Why do we need to study math? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we could cover the, the math applications and also what is the real math tools and, uh, mm -hmm. and other math tools they can, they can use. So we can, I mean, you can think about more, but this is what I just get to, to my points. So now we have two, two collaboration points. One is the joint research. The second one is we can have a workshop. The third one is, I really like your idea uh, uh, about, about curriculum discussion. Uh, that's really a, a good idea and uh, we're really welcome. Why not? Why not we, we set both of us, math people from IUF and math people from uh, Kabul University, and let's discuss the curriculum. Let's see what can we do with that. I am, uh, we are really welcome on that. So this is three main, and yeah, the, we can leave the door for you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lala. Any, any feedback, any comment from, uh, especially from our guests from Kabul University? Yes, um, Dr. Joey. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, we can collect and uh, unify the result of uh, student assessment and uh, analyze them. And finally, pursue a comprehensive and uh, complete research on uh, online teaching of uh, mathematics in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, whatever you say. I am agree uh, uh, with this case. Yeah, thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. I also I can, I can have the, the, other, the other two. Sorry, sir, before we go, we go to the next one, can we know about the other two, having a workshop and having curriculum discussion? What, what he thinks about it? Uh, yes, Mr. Arlo, I think uh, uh, whatever uh, you said, we uh, have a discussion between our uh, students. It is uh, uh, really, really good. And uh, uh, I am suggesting that uh, if you are agree, we need uh, some area to uh, a student discuss face to face. I think uh, it will be very good. Efficiency is very good uh, to a student talk face to face, not online. If you are agree. Yeah. But so, we should, yeah, that's if right. have that's the ability. Right. Yes. When we are going to have the workshop, I mean, we are going yeah. to invite the students from AUF and the students from Kabul University. Yes. They can, they can know each other there. And hopefully with the, with the time uh, we start the fall semester, uh, we will be having the possibility of bringing the students together, not only online, but also face-to-face. -face. And that's yes. of course creating more, more space for the students to exchange ideas and to, to see what the other party is actually doing. Uh, I have also an idea. Yes, sir, please. Uh, in research, this is very important to uh, find question and uh, then we have to find uh, answers. Mm -hmm. uh, in first time, which factors are uh, very important uh, or which factors are uh, very useful for the online uh, study, the online teaching? And then we have to find a solution and uh, uh, we will discuss. And in first, I think we, we, uh, we have to have uh, open discussion or we have to uh, have a workshop and we, uh, we design uh, 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 forums to fill the students and also for uh, teachers and they give uh, some ideas and define the factors they are important and useful in the online student, uh, in the online teacher. After that, we can solve for every factor, we will find a way, a uh, solution for every time. I think it's a, a big research. It's not uh, only one topic and it's uh, big, and uh, it's also important in research 
uh, to find the area of research. Area of research, if I uh, write in uh, students in Kabul University, Kabul University have to, uh, 25,000 students. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very difficult to study all of them. We have to find uh, instance, and also uh, this is also very difficult uh, to uh, to find to study all uh, students of uh, uh, American University. We, yeah. uh, I think it's good to have an open discussion and workshop in this uh, field, and then we uh, have to uh, start and decision take decision of uh, which kind and to which uh, subject or which uh, uh, title we give to the research. Agree. Uh, so how about the other two points being raised by Dr. Al about, uh, okay, workshop, you said you agree. Of course, research, yeah. you said you agree. About curriculum discussion, discussion on curriculum. Yeah. Uh, open disc uh, discussion, the teachers in uh, lectures, school teachers, lecturers, private university uh, lecturers, and uh, many the, the people still or how uh, more experience in teaching uh, the their area is uh, very important and we will find some good factors in this uh, field and after they, that we will we design a equation form and uh, after that equation form for the students and question for, forms uh, for the uh, uh, teachers and also for the lecturers and uh, we have the under time we will uh, uh, find the exactly article for the research yeah. okay. thank you Ustad. thank you uh, any other further feedback uh, uh, i did not hear you please uh, thank you Ustad. thank you so, so much uh, uh, we just uh, i recorded what you said any other feedback from anyone else? Uh, no, the, I have no other feedback. From which okay. I I have uh, an idea uh, before the workshop. Uh, if we can um, release, uh, uh, if you record all these discussions, uh, we can release it on uh, social media or Facebook. And then we can uh, get feedback from outsiders. May idea may come from um, students or from math lovers. Or, uh, I'm sure uh, we can get some other ideas too. And then we can go to the workshop about um, the um, uh, feedback from students. Uh, my idea is if we can extend it to other universities, not only Kabul University, mm -hmm. we can, even we can uh, have some, we can select some universities uh, uh, from provinces, uh, Herat University, Nengarhar, I don't know, uh, many other universities. And also about uh, the third one, the curriculum, also we need to get the feedback from from others uh, and uh, thank you uh, but I want to give a very uh, I, I missed the part from last discussion just very very quickly uh, I will give that uh, when I make it the videos for students I replace myself to to the seat of the students uh, and very uh, uh, almost low level students I think if I'm very uh, low level student um, and I don't know primary knowledge I don't have primary knowledge about this course or very primary knowledge what the challenges I will face to understand better so what the visualization of formulas I play with formulas formulas is animation uh, get I give the animation on formula and formula comes from one part and go to the other part like same as I'm teaching on, 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 on the blackboard and by hand showing this should go here and should replace this instead of that 
So it is a type of uh, the initiatives that we can make these videos, but it is very hard because in somehow I started making videos in some subjects and then after uh, videos release, uh, some, of, some of the students said, it is too basic, too elementary. And some of the students said, we couldn't understand this part. So because we, are, we don't have face-to-face -face uh, connection, an interface connection, so we faced with some challenges like this. I make that video, uh, I work on video two, two days, and then after that, I find out if I made, made that in other way or to cover the other concept, I could give much better uh, knowledge or much, I transfer much better learning to this. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Sorry for, uh, I am very talkative, I'm chatterbox. <laughs> so uh, I hope that, uh, because I'm teacher. The teacher are yeah, always teacher. Teachers are. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Thank you. So, thank you so much, thank you so much. Well, uh, we will, uh, I think this research, uh, research at the three parts I call them in the research workshop and uh, curriculum. Uh, I think we have uh, a lot of options, a lot of possibilities of uh, doing joint work, uh, collaboration. Uh, and uh, definitely there is in the, in the agenda, I mentioned also mathematics anxiety. We, this matter is being uh, raised by many people in this meeting, it's about nothing new. Uh, nothing peculiar to Afghanistan. It's a worldwide uh, fear of mathematics, anxiety of mathematics. It's, it's everywhere we go. Ustad uh, Mohan was sharing experiences from Germany. That's completely true. Uh, that's also one, one area for doing the research. Uh, we really hope for, uh, look forward to, to, to do that. Uh, but, but if uh, since we are running out of time here, uh, if uh, there is no further uh, further uh, input, comments, suggestions, uh, well, I really, from my side, thank everybody for participating in the, in the, in the program. I particularly want to thank uh, Ustad Poinda for, uh, for managing and cooperating the meeting in Kabul University side, and Dr. Allah for his, his support from the AUF side. Uh, and uh, Dr. Allah, we, uh, I think if there is no comments, other uh, feedback from the participants, so we can bring the, the meeting to its end. Okay, I would thank uh, everybody really for uh, uh, giving uh, their time today with us to have this collaboration. Of course, this is not the end. This is only the beginning of collaboration between us and you. And uh, of course, we'll have series of meetings together because we have so many things we can collaborate. And, uh, and we are really happy to work with you. And uh, I would like to thank Assad and all of you for this really gathering and uh, making, making it happen. Of course, our target, like you said, not only Kabul University, why not? We can bring other universities with us. And, uh, and of course, uh, 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 we will see you soon and uh, we'll try to organize more, more meetings and we'll try to look forward, how can we move forward with our, with our collaboration in the future? Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Okay. Have a nice okay. day. Have a nice day, all. Have a nice day. Have a nice time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.